In this video we will cover adding a tool in SheetCam. The tools in SheetCam allow you to save your cutting parameters helping to achieve good cuts every time. Tools are categorized by material thickness and plasma cutter process. Opening up a tool you can see all the settings. You can adjust the kerf width to fine tune the kerf offset, feed rate, pierce height and delay as well as cut height. Plunge rates stay the same for all tools. When adding a new tool you will need to reference your plasma cutters cutting charts. We placed a PDF on the desktop of your plasma's cutting charts for easy reference. Open them up and scroll through. The first chart you will see is the kerf width. Find your material and cut process to find your kerf width. The rest of the information is sorted by cut process. They start with an exploded view of your consumable stack with part numbers for reference. Then you have charts for different materials such as mild steel, stainless and aluminum. Scroll down to your material thickness to find the settings for that tool. To add a tool to the list, click the Create a New Jet Cutting Tool button. In the Jet Tool window, you will first need to name the new tool. We recommend using the naming structure we use for the tools that came with your table, as it gives you all the information you will need to reference throughout the process. Then reference the cutting charts for the rest of the settings. Always remember to save the tool set and save the default tool set after you've made changes to ensure you don't lose your work. You can also go into your tools and make any changes as you fine tune your cut settings. Just make sure to save the changes. That is how you add tools to SheetCam. Thanks for watching and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos.